While it is true that traveling to Switzerland is the most expensive trip ever in the world, but wait, hold on. I am here to share with you some information in order for you to have a stress-free travel and to make your dreams come true. Guys, in this content, I'm going to share with you the Swiss travel pass, the cost, and also the inclusions of the trip. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a secret on how to travel throughout Switzerland for a day. Okay, to guide you properly, please allow me to direct you to the website of the SwissPass.cs. And there, we can see the options wherein you can pick according to your taste. So let's have a short walkthrough on this site. We have a Swiss travel pass, Swiss travel pass flex, Swiss half fare card, and Swiss coupon pass. But the most popular one is the Swiss travel pass. So let's see from here. Swiss Travel Pass, it offers you unlimited travel on the network of Swiss travel system. And it entitles you to unlimited travel in Switzerland by train, bus, or boat. The Swiss Travel Pass is available for 3, 4, 6, 8, or 15 consecutive days. So the first option here is a like uh, first class or second class? And let's have an example for the second class. Okay, there are validity here. So three days, four days, six days, eight days, and 15 days. Let's try to click the three days. So for three days travel, okay, it costs you 244. Four days travel is 295. Six days is 379. Eight days is 419, and 15 days is 459. So what are the inclusions? Okay, here, panoramic roads are included. Additional 50% discount on most mountain, railways, and gondolas. Free admission to over 500 museums. Children under the age of 16 travel free of charge. On top of this, which museums are included in the Swiss Travel Pass? Okay. The Olympic Museum in Lausanne, Chateau de Chillon, and the Ballenberg Swiss Open Air Museum. Which mountain excursions are included? Trips up to Stus, Bruni, uh, Cleven Alp, Stanserhorn, and Rigi are included in the pass. A 50% reduction is offered on most other mountain and cableways. Example, the Gorner Grat. Okay, the Gorner Grat is the train goes up to Mount Zermatt and also to Mount less okay so how about the swiss panoramic railways like glazer express bernina express grand train tour of switzerland golden pass line gothard panorama express jungfrau york top of europe and full alpen express okay this is the condition your ticket price is included in the Swiss Travel Pass, but seat reservations are compulsory and a supplement must be paid non most routes. It is possible to pay for a class upgrade if you have a second class pass but would like to travel in first class non one of these services. All right, so it's very clear, guys. Now let's go to the secret on how to travel throughout Switzerland for a day.
With a Saver Day Pass, you can travel throughout Switzerland for a day on all routes in the general abominement area from as little as 29 Swiss francs with a half fare travel card and from uh, 52 Swiss francs without a half fare travel card. So I'll ha I have to distinguish between these two, a uh, half fare and without half fare. So half fare travel card, it refers to the residents or locals here in Switzerland. Without half fare travel card are those people who are from non-European countries. Okay, how to get the cheaper one? Okay, you, you can book this in advance. You must not only book, but you must book in advance, like six months before your date of travel. So you can get a cheaper one. All right, guys. So you can visit the seven day passes at sbb.ch or using the SBB mobile application. If you have some questions, please comment down below and I am willing to assess you further. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to keep updated on my upcoming videos. My name is Fritz right here in Switzerland. Bye for now.